The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada is a proper engineer and help you, yes, you, find the things you need on digikey.com, Lady Ada. What in the world are you trying to find on digikey.com this week? Okay, this week um, we're going to uh, locate some character LCDs that have alternative interfaces. So uh, since we're going to slice the video, let's go to the overhead and I'll explain my current state. Um, so this is a very standard character LCD display. It has a uh, blue backlight and then white characters that shine through it. So like a negative polarity uh, display. And this uses um, the parallel interface. So you have, uh, in addition to power and ground, you have um, select and a right latch, enable pin, and then use either four or eight IO pins. So basically you need at least six IO pins and some people use, you, know, you can use up to like nine IO pins. Uh, and that's a lot of I.O. pins. Most people don't want to spend that many pins, especially if you have uh, low-cost Mac controllers that don't have a lot of GPIO. Why waste it on an LCD? Um, so this is a sample that I got um, that has a SPI or I2C interface. And then I realized um, these are actually you know, fairly popular and there are a lot of options. So the place I got that only had blue and white, um, the trade-off is the backlight has to be on and this is not daylight readable. Uh, but I thought I'd show how on DigiKey you can get almost like any configuration you want of character LCDs, including I squared C or SPI interface. So let's go to my computers. Um, so when I first looked up a uh, character, um, watch out, there's two categories. One is LED uh, character and numeric, which I accidentally went to first. But what's nice is when you go down and you look at the image, you're like, wait, this is, you know, LED. This is not character LCD. So LED works by, um, you see there's one LED for every segment and it literally like blasts light through to light up that segment. Whereas with character LCDs, um, instead of LEDs, what they do is they have, you know, an eight by five dot matrix and the um, liquid crystal turns on or off to let the backlight through, or if it's transflective, it reflects light back into your eye. So different uses, you know, some people are like, when should I use LED versus LCD? Um, you know, LED is going to be a, is a lot more, is a lot faster update, and it's going to look um, a lot, it's, it's kind of daylight readable and night readable, um, but, you know, it adds up fast. And also, if you don't need as many characters, um, LED is good, especially if you only have to show like two or three digits. But if you're gonna show like text, especially other languages and stuff, um, character LCDs is where it's at. So let's go back and select the correct category. Okay, so lots of options. And you'll notice there's, um, there's a lot of different varieties. There are character LCDs like these. And if you remember a long time ago, we covered an I squared C to LCD converter chip. This is a raw LCD. Um, so you would not, you don't write it with I squared C or even parallel. You actually have to like toggle all the IO pins very, very fast. Usually you have a controller driver chip to do that. Some microcontrollers have a built in LCD driver, but like it's a very specific thing. And uh, I think we did a show a few months ago, maybe a year or two ago, where I showed like, hey, you can manually control it with a GPIO on any mic controller, but it doesn't look very good. You get ghosting um, and it's hard to, to keep up. So really you want um, a mic controller that supports it. But uh, there are also lots of character LCDs like this, where um, you see you have a, a smaller number of pins and it's like a module and there's like this metal plate that goes around the LCD, and this has the controller as well for you, and then again gives you um, I squared C or SPI or parallel. So if you go over um, here, you can see the different interfaces. So if you see dash, that means there's no like there's no controller. You're like you have to toggle the pins. Parallel is again that kind of standard um, display, but then you see oh you got like serial and I squared C. So a lot of um, varieties there. Let's pare down what's available to see what we can get to. So first off, I'm looking only for active. And then let's just also only look up stuff in stock. Um, okay, so again, some of these are manual drive. I don't want those. I want uh, only ones that have I squared C, let's say. So I'm going to select all these and then option click I squared C over here. 
and then we've got 75 options. So lots of options here. Um, so not surprising, New Haven is like a, a big seller of these. Um, some of these have an RGB backlight, and you'll notice a couple, there's like two basic types of LCDs. There's the ones that are negative polarizing, and these have kind of like a cool look because the backlight is the color of the text, and then the background is like a dark blue or black, and, and they look, I mean, they're very striking looking. Um, but they, again, are not very daylight readable. If you want daylight readable ones, ironically, you want to get ones that have black text, and especially if they say transflective. Um, I think, yeah, the transflective ones rather than the passive ones are the ones that look best in daylight. You also want to check the data sheet. People always ask me, like, what kind of LCDs are best for daylight. So definitely don't get the negative polarity ones, get the positive. Second, um, you can get them with different color backlights. Now you're gonna pay more if you want an RGB backlight, like this one. But what's cool is you can actually do color mixing to get like, you know, any shade. And it could be nice if you want to, like I use RGB backlights for our testers because people don't always read the text, but if it's like flashing red, they're like, uh-oh, something went wrong. Whereas it's a nice green color means go. Um, so even though I don't use all the colors, you know, sometimes I have the stick, if it's in the middle of programming, I'll make it orange or blue and then green or red on success or fail. Um, so there's a couple different types here. There's, um, this is like a slim type, which is I think very cute. And I like the little mounting tabs. Um, there's also ones that are FPC mount. Um, this is kind of like a classic original style. Um, all of them, by the way, will have uh, LED backlights. Um, the old, the old style used to have um, electroluminescent panel, and they were extremely loud and very power consuming. Now it's LED, which means you can often PWM the backlight as well. There's also OLED versions. Um, they're more expensive, but they like look really cool because uh, again they have that nice glowing look, and and they do uh, look better during daylight. Um, but they're a little bit more expensive. Um, they also come in like, you know, you can get 4x20 four by, four by is kind of the largest you're going to get. Four characters by, four rows by 20 characters. Um, but you, you can get like 2x8, um, 10x4. You, you'll get anything almost less than that. It's just that 20x4 uh, is the largest of the classic LCD um, configurations. If you want something bigger, you're going to probably go with a TFT display. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of options here. Um, another thing to watch for is um, these days, almost all LCDs run from three or five volts, but some of the older uh, chipsets only run off of five. And so if you are using a modern microcontroller, um, check the voltage supply to see like it's not guaranteed like this one for example you see it's like a five volt only um it's an old style you know like this is like yellow background is very old style um and then some of the modern ones only run from 3.3 not three to five so it's it's not guaranteed that you're going to get um three volt or five volt compatibility do do take a look to see what it is oh yeah iap that was the one that um the sample i was using which is very cool um, so in fact, I think that this is going to be, this is pin compatible, uh, sorry, code compatible. This is going to be my pick. Um, I like this because, um, it's got the transflective display, cool white background. I squared C uses the chipset that I've already got code for, um, black text on white. So this one's really good. And then let's see also let's look by quantity available. Yeah, this one's really good, and then this one. These are both two that I think would be really, really sweet. Very nice looking. So these are my picks for The Great Search. And that's Great Search. And they're in stock. Where in the world is